minute, baby, and tell your mother what's the matter. Oh, I don't know what to do. This is the end of everything. Tom asked me to marry him. You mean that flying lieutenant you met last year when you were singing at the army canteen? Yes, ma'am. He's being discharged from the army, and he's bringing his folks from Chicago. He wants us to get married just as soon as he gets here. But I don't see why you should be all broken up and crying about that. I thought you loved that boy. Oh, I do. I love him more than anything else in the world. But don't you see, he doesn't know that we are just poor people. He thinks that came from a society family. I'm sorry, child. Oh, Mother, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Oh, it's all my fault. You see, when I met Tom and he heard me sing at the canteen, well, he just took it for granted that anyone who had a trained voice like mine must come from a wealthy family. And I was scared to tell him that we were poor because I loved him so much. But then I found out that he came from one of the wealthiest families in the Middle West. Why, now, don't take on so, baby. Just you run along home and leave everything up to your own mother. I'm not going to let any child of mine lose her future husband just because of being poor. I scraped and saved all these years to give you the best in musical education for your singing, and wait, now I'm... Wait! Hold up! Run along. There's that old slave driver hollering again. Just you leave everything up to me. Babe! Babe! about how I managed to get the use of this part. Just you leave everything up to me. But, Mother, how could you afford all this? You told me that you were spending all the money you had for my singing bed. Well, run along into the bedroom and finish getting ready. I'll get the door. Please. I understood this made the page was away for the weekend. I wasn't aware that anyone was occupying her apartment while she's away. <laughs> yes, I, I, you're Mr. Peters, I'm sure. My sister Mabel told me about you. Your sister? Do you mean to say you're Miss Peters' sister? Well, I didn't know she had a sister. I thought Mabel had informed you that my daughter and I were stopping over on our way to Washington to visit with my husband, the Conqueror. Oh, well, I'm sure everything will be all right then. If there's anything I can do, uh, please just mention it. I was just fixing to contact you. There's plenty to do. You know, my daughter's fiance, the Lieutenant Tom Powers, is arriving tonight with his help. Of course, you've heard of the wealthy Powers, huh? Eh? Oh, uh, yes, yes, of course. Why, well, you mean Judge Powers. Why, he's one of our most famous families. Well, yes. Tonight, we're announcing the engagement of my daughter and Judge Powers' son. And I would like you to have dinner prepared for five. Of course, I'll leave the planning of the menu to your expert judgment, Mr. Pease. I know you'll do everything just now. Why, of course, Mrs. Uh, 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 what did you say your name was? And, uh, by the way, I was wondering if uh, you could have this man to serve as the, uh, uh, but... Indeed, we can, ma'am. And if there's anything else you wish, I please just call on me. We are happy and honored to have such prominent guests here. Your wish is my command. And, uh, what is his name? Uh, Paul. Oh, yes, sir. Paul, Paul, Mr. Thank you. You're quite welcome, I'm sure. And uh, I'm wondering if you will come with me, please, so I can show you just what to do. The guests will be arriving any minute. Just come with me. Uh, 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 come right with me, please. Just... Uh, Porter, would you please? Oh, you better tell me something. You better straighten me. I ain't gonna have that. Matt, you can get somebody else. Uh, 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 everything must be ready to serve at 8 o'clock sharp. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Beast. I would like to have the keys to Mabel Page's apartment. I have to get some contracts from her writing desk. They must be signed. Well, the key is already up, Mr. Gordon. Did you know that Miss Page's sister is occupying her apartment while she's away? What's that? What'd you say? Her sister? Why, I'll uh... <laughs> Well, that's strange. You said it. Immediately. Immediately. Get the coat down. 
Who are you? I'm Mabel Page's sister. You're a liar. Mabel Page has no sister. I'm her manager. You're an imposter. I'll call the manager and have you flown out of this hotel. Washburn, that our guests are here. Washburn? Washburn? Well, I'm afraid we don't have anyone by the name of Washburn. However, the name does sound familiar. Who's calling, please? Mr. and Mrs. Powers, now a son. Oh, why, of course. We've been expecting you, sir. Why, go right up to 2B. The boy will show you. Thank you. Porter, 
pay for the boat. Yeah, pay him. Oh, yes, yes, Porter. I'll have a drink. 
And I'm sure my friends will join me in a toast to the prospective bride and groom. And now, folks, I have a surprise for you. It's just about time for us to start our little show. We've got some of the the law, and everybody is raring to go. Now, I just want you all to sit and relax whilst we dish out the facts. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you the boy with the crazy feet, Rocky. <laughs>
I have another surprise in store for us. We have a celebrity of screen, stage, and radio among us. And it's none other than the reporter. And I'm sure if we will give him enough applause, we can get him to do a number. What do you say we bring him on with a waving hand? Lived all alone, shared everything in the shack, called home, got beat to one poke chop, the cat grabbed the man's shop, put it down, put it down, let it hit the ground, be no low down hound, cat put it back, drop that skin, ease it back in there, Jim, let it shower 60 miles an hour, I sympathize with you, but that's tough to see me through. So if you want to stay fat, go get yourself a rat. No kitty, be no clown, snatching rations, stuff ain't sound. Throw it from your John, put it down. Now oh, cat, please leave it late at me. Bring it down, crowd it, just take it, slap that skin. Then let it shower from 15 miles an hour. Speed jack and cut out ration fast. Slide home, throw it from it. Say, Bernard, don't let the big head be hard to come around, put it down. Yeah, suck it to me, yeah. Yeah, just suck it to me, yeah. Suck it to me, yeah. Boy, boy. Come on. Now that I'm waking up a sweat. Just suck, boy. Oh, no, me, me. Suck, suck, suck. Yes, 
That boy showing you how to fly right. 